Okay, in this uh, installment, we're on the number eight tutorial. On the last one, we, we went ahead and added some time stuff. On this one, we're going to do our start and cancel button. We're going to put some inputs into the program so that it's just not automatically running over and over. So, very important here. We're going to save our project and make sure to upload the tag values when it asks you. Because we put data into our time data into our array when we were online and next time if we don't save those we download uh, it'll erase those so I'm gonna go ahead and put a rung in here I'm gonna make a simple latching circuit I'm doing that by just going up here and clicking on the different members so there we go first thing I'm gonna do in here is put my tank one start input and I'm gonna find my cancel put that in there then I'm gonna go into my UDT and find my run bit ah, I didn't I never made a run bit so come back here into my UDT get myself a boolean run bit it's the IP program run something like that it's okay I can come in here and we should have one right down there and I'm going to drag that over now I have a latching circuit now I need to use that run bit to run my timer I mean my sequence is running off my timer so only when I'm running will I allow my timer to run and only when my timer expires will I sequence to the next step so I'm going to save that download it change it back to run mode and now you can see that the timers doing nothing we're not stepping through anything we're just basically locked where we where we left it off but we can use our start and cancel buttons to go ahead and start sequencing I hit the run button now we're going through our sequence again as long as our run buttons on so the only thing to take us out of run is to hit the tank one cancel button you can see it, it just steps through and it keeps resetting itself over and over again and our output is updating what we want here is something to maybe shut it off as well when it gets done with the sequence so I'm gonna go ahead put a bit in here and I'm gonna say when my tank one control is done in other words wherever I've put my length the position is equal to the length it's gonna shut that off So we're at five. Nothing's running. We've actually killed this program now. Our control bit got up to a five. It took us out of run. And the problem is, is now nothing's going to happen. Even when we hit start, nothing. Why? Because the control is uh, still done. Let me toggle this manually so you can see it. There's the start button on. There's a start button off, so we've got to add something else here. Um, and I'm thinking when the control bit is done, we go ahead and reset the control word, take it back to zero. So I'm going to add another rung here. And say when I'm not in run, so I've either been canceled or the control bit is done, that I'll go ahead and reset and use the reset instruction it's up here somewhere well actually I'll do a one shot on here because I just want it to happen one time and I'm just gonna create a new one I'm gonna not I'm gonna use this as a boolean bit but I'm gonna create it as a dent and then use it at the bit level and why because a boolean uses the same amount 
as a dint when you just create it in the controller or program scope tags. If you do it in a UDT, it, it's different. So that's for another discussion, but there you go. Plus I have 32 one shots if I need them. Now I'm gonna come over here and reset the entire tag when I'm not in run. Finalize those. We'll one shot that and you notice it resets the position back to zero. So now if I cancel or the sequence becomes done, it resets the control back to zero and we start off from a known point every time. So as it steps through here, we'll hit five and instantly get reset. So that concludes this tutorial and on the next one we'll uh, explore some more things.